Are you tight on your hip flexors and weakness on your glutes? If you've been sitting a lot due to your work or traveling. Hi, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me for a lovely Pilates yoga, physical therapy, glutes, hip flexors, activating routine, utilizing an elastic band. If you don't have elastic band, you can still join me for absolute beginners so you can relieve all the tension and stiffness away. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's start in standing position. You're going to place the elastic band around your thighs, near your knees. And we're going to start in standing position and stretch your back, your upper back and your hip flexors with your feet separated a little bit and your toes pointing diagonally and slowly lift your hands overhead as you inhale and then exhale, slowly bend your knees to a half squat with your palms up, open, stretching, Fingers open, stretch, and then squeezing your upper back to stretch your chest muscles out. And then exhale, breathe out. Inhale, reach up to a mountain pose. Squeezing your core in. Exhale, lower your palms down. Shoulder level, knees apart, pushing your knees against the band. And breathe out. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Squeezing your core in, really activating your glutes. The bands help push your knee out. Inhale, exhale, reach up. Slowly lower your knees down. Hold that position. And up. And down. And up. And down. Five more to go. Half squat, you don't have to go all the way down. Slowly warm up your hips, especially if you've been sitting a lot and you need a gentle stretch. Sitting a lot causes a lot of weakness on your glutes, so you wanna make sure to slowly warm up before you go deeper. Two more. Last one. Hold that half squats, and we're gonna slowly pulse. Small range, up and down with your palms open, extending your arms, stretching. Try not to lean forward, try to pretend you want to sit down, squeezing your glutes. I'm really pushing my buttocks out so like someone's pulling me behind through my hips. Small range, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, that was a beautiful stretch. Now we're going to do some warrior pose. We'll start on your left with your toes pointing to the left, reach your arms out. This time you with your palms down and then your right toes pointing straight in front of you as you lower your knee down towards your left. Inhale, feel the band against your hip flexors and then your glutes on your right, which is a great way to isolate and really feel those muscles activating. As you exhale, slowly reach on your right knee, behind your right knee, lift your hand up to the heavens and really stretch your hip flexors and lean back to a reverse warrior and then back to warrior one and then slowly lean down towards your left foot with your left hand while lifting your right hand up towards the heavens and looking up and hold that inhale exhale slowly overhead with your right hand to stretch your right side of your rib cage all the way to your right hip and follow the eye gaze with your hand right hand inhale as you exhale let's go back to warrior one but this time i'm turning my body to the right my right toes now is facing towards your right and your left toes, left foot facing forward reaching as much as you can as you slowly lower and bend your right knee for a deeper lunge for warrior one extending your left knee to really stretch your left hip flexors this time inhale and then exhale slowly reach down to the floor and looking up with your left hand up inhale exhale slowly reach over your left hand over 
to have a deep stretch on your left hip flexors all the way to your rib cage and shoulder. Follow the, your hand with your eye gaze. Inhale and exhale back to warrior one. And breathe out. Now slowly place your left hand down behind your left knee and then slowly lift your right hand up to the heavens and look up to a reverse warrior. Hold that in two deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, as deep breath in, and then back to the center. Well done. Now my feet are separated really far apart, toes face diagonally. I'm gonna lower the band a little bit towards my knees to activate my glutes. And we're gonna do side to side lunge. So I'm leaning to the right, my hands together to a prayer position. Left and right slowly stretch those hip flexors and your glutes. Inhale and exhale, side to side. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm currently here at Sedona, Arizona. You can see the beautiful mountains behind me. It's beautiful, it's sunset after a long drive from Texas. So this is a great way for me to really enjoy and lift and stretch those tight hips, especially if driving after almost 20 hours with stop and go, side to side, activate your glutes. I'm really pushing my hip out, really tapping my glutes and then stretching my hip flexors. I say lean to the right and then lean to the left. Two more, feels so good on your hips. Last one. And now we're gonna further challenge your glutes and your hip flexors by doing some lunges. So I'm gonna lower my right knee as I turn my body to the left. I'm facing to the left as I lower my right knee down, all the way down, and feel that deep stretch, and then lean forward. Inhale, exhale, back straight. Bending my left knee, stretching my right hip flexors, and back. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna challenge by lifting my hands up to a W position as I lift and pull my elbows back, squeezing my upper back and then exhale down to stretch all the way down, extending my left knee, sitting. And then lean back to, to lunge while pulling my elbows back. So I'm really stretching my upper back, stretching my right hip flexors, and then going down for a forward fold, stretching my left hamstrings and really folding down as much as I can for a deep stretch. Toes pointing away on my left foot, and then back to a lunge, lifting my hands up to a W position, and then down. Two more, back and forth. Deep lunge, W position, squeezing my upper back, and then forward fold on my left. Now you can go further deeper now. Last one. And then back down. Okay, my friends, now lift your right knee up. And then switch to the other side. Lower the bands a little bit on your thighs. And then lower your knee down all the way down to a lunge position. Now I'm targeting my right side. As I lean forward, let's warm up. First place your hand in front of your thighs to support. Inhale and then exhale back down to the center. Lean again, feel your hip flexors on your left. And center, back center and lean again to the right. Now let's challenge for those who want to challenge. Lift your hands up to a W position. Inhale and then exhale forward fold. Extending your right knee and folding yourself forward as much as you can. And W position to a lunge. Inhale and then exhale down. Three more to go. Feels so good. Two more. Last one. And back down. Now we're gonna slowly stand up again to a triangle position. So I'm fully standing, feet apart, toes diagonal position in a triangle pose. Lift your hands up again and then forward fold in this position as much as you can. Make sure your back is straight. As much as you can that you can go all the way down to the mat with your palms down. Feel the bands around your thighs. 
to really challenge your glutes and then slowly twist to one side looking up to the heavens for trunk rotation inhale exhale down then twist to the other side and down and really forward fold as much as you can now slowly roll up gently as you breathe out and now let's challenge your glutes further for a deeper stretch i'm really pushing my knee out as i go deeper stretch to a goddess pose palms out and then with your bands around your thighs you're challenging by doing a trunk twist left and right feel so good in your trunk inhale exhale two more twist deeper squat and back center now we're going to do some plie by peel up plie and up plie and down down as much as you can hold that plie and we're going to challenge with your palms down we're going to challenge left and right lifting your heels up hold that plie feel the burner in your thighs and your glutes and now both heels up to challenge for those who want to challenge lift your heels up and down five feel the burn four three two and one and up stand up straight let's go at the end of the mat we're going to do some sun salutation series feet apart reach to the heavens look up and then slowly forward fold reach behind you interlock your fingers and lift it up above your back stretch soften your knees so you can come closer with your chest towards your knees as much as you can to really stretch your back and your hips especially your glutes now slowly lower your hands down roll it down behind your thighs all the way down to your legs for a deeper forward fold stretch place your hands on the mat crawl down all the way down to the mat for a forward plank hand plank inhale and then chaturanga for beginners you can lower your knees down and then slowly pull your elbows down to the mat for chaturanga pull your elbows back and then press up for upward facing dog to stretch your lumbar spine inhale as you exhale i want you to lower your chest down to prepare for downward dog grab the mat with your toes then lift your hips up to a downward dog left and right stretch your hamstrings march it out pedal it out your feet and then back to forward position forward plank for beginners lower your knees down for chaturanga pull your elbows down to your waist exhale press up for upper facing dog and then down to the mat as you breathe out and then upward then go back to downward dog inhale exhale to forward plank lower your knees down for beginners to chaturanga press up for upward facing dog exhale down last set downward dog forward plank lower your knees chaturanga upward facing dog press up and then exhale down and then bend your knees your toes up for a bow pose and press up as much as you can to really stretch your hip flexors inhale as you exhale slowly lower your feet down lower your chest down we're gonna end the program for a child pose hip lift your hips lower it down all the way down to your glutes your heels your glutes resting in your heels as much as you can and hold this in three deep breaths last deep breath in and that's it i'm hoping you enjoyed this lovely pilates yoga glutes activating your hip flexors and your glutes if you've been sitting a lot and you need the gentle release after a prolonged sitting position because of your traveling or your job if you love this video and want to learn more about pilates yoga physical therapy health and wellness please subscribe to my channel ring the bell so you won't miss anything like and share this video every like you give to my channel you are supporting me and if you need my guidance and support 
I'll be reopening my back masterclass. Click the link on the description below. Be part of my early bird waitlist for first come first serve basis. And if you need some help for those with postpartum weak pelvic floor and those with diastasis recti or umbilical hernia, I'll be launching a new course, Revive Pelvic Floor Health. Click the description below as well and be part of my early bird waitlist. If you have hip flexor weakness, check out over here. And if you have weak glutes and you have suffering from dead butt syndrome, watch the absolute beginners over here. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Bye!